everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. Now, as you saw from the title, and if you didn't see from the title, then you're seeing something is weird now because I have a side part. I've been going like all day long. So I am so ready to get this video in the works. So if the title doesn't make a lot of sense to you, let me just let me just explain to you what happened to me like three weeks ago. I got requested, recommended, Britney Spears' Oops I Did It Again on YouTube and I could not help myself but click and watch the music video. Iconic. But it didn't stop there, so I then was like, wow, the style was way different, the makeup was way different, everything was way different in the early 2000s. So. Then that took me to Ashley Tisdale Red Carpet 2005 Bang. And that was, that was the decider, okay? <laughs> I'm being such a funny person right now. No, but seriously, as I scrolled through all of these pictures of like Ashley Tisdale, Disney stars in the 2000s, like 2001 to 2007, I was just beyond inspired and also conflicted at how quickly styles changed. So I thought I wanted to do a video, a little spinoff of this makeover, thing that's going around and do a makeover going from my normal to early 2000s style. And I cannot freaking wait, you guys. I went all out. I bought so much new stuff. I don't even want to talk anymore. I just want to get into it. Let's roll. First things first, we got to do something with this makeup. So bold lips, bold eyebrows, lots of eyeshadow, huge lashes has not always been the trend. It's like it kind of feels like it always has been, but it actually, I feel like, just started up in the last like three or four years. And in the early 2000s, it was very thin eyebrows, really glossy eyelids, super nude lips. Like, that was kind of the look that I kept seeing. And honestly, when I was younger and I would watch the Disney Channel or iCarly or anything, I remember seeing that look. So we gotta do that. Like even matte eyeshadow. Matte eyeshadow who? I only know shimmery eyeshadow. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm like annoying myself. <laughs> okay, I don't actually know if primer, actually it definitely wasn't a thing. Primer in the mid 2000s. Mid 2000. Yeah, this is a 2050 makeup tutorial. This is actually the hydrating primer. Prep and Hydrate Balm from e.l.f. Okay, while that's sitting, I'm going to move on into my eyebrows. Now, this is gonna be difficult for me because I was born with just thick eyebrows. Like, they just are thick. And even if they don't look thick, like that doesn't look that thick, the hair is like wires, I swear. So, this is gonna be difficult, but I'm basically just gonna try not to add anything to my eyebrows and also not even structure them that much. I think like more, natural looking eyebrows we're in, so I'm going to try that. Let me grab a little bit of this eyeshadow pomade, and let's see what we can do. I've always been the worst at like doing my eyebrows anyway, other than what I always do. But I just want to do it really subtle, like I almost think that might even be enough. Like I did like four strokes through, but I think that might be good. Okay, that eyebrow looks super 2000s to me. Now, one thing that I will say, is a lot of people like to make fun of the 2000s, but I think the early 2000s was a very pure time for fashion. Like there was a lot of inspirational quotes as big titles on shirts. There was a lot of jean chains, like, <laughs> I don't know, I just really like it. Uh, like, early 2000s always makes me think of the real people Scooby-Doo, and specifically Scooby-Doo on the island. Why can I not remember the word? I literally watched it two weeks ago. Here it is. And that is the epitome of the looks I'm going for. Everyone in that movie served major, major looks. When I was watching Britney Spears' Oops, I Did It Again, I had throwbacks to like playing on Girls Go Games and Barbie.com and like all that stuff when Barbie would perform Oops I Did It Again. Did anyone play that game? I literally don't know if I'll even be able to find it. I just remember running home from school to my friend's house and playing that in her basement. Good memories. Also Britney Spears, 
doesn't age so so for the eyeshadow look I'm looking for something very very shimmery and just one basic color on my eyes I don't want to build any dimension Britney Spears had like a really shimmery white Ashley Tisdale was always serving shimmery blue I love Ashley Tisdale okay I have this dream state bad habit palette here it is I'm going to take this muse shade Let's see if this has any pigmentation. I don't think I've ever even used this palette. Okay, we're just trying to get frosty eyes, by the way, in case you're wondering what I'm doing over here. Mom? 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 Am I lame for thinking that that's probably good? Uh, okay, but one thing I saw a whole bunch of was like black in this part of your eye, like the waterline, and I don't do that. I really don't. I think it makes my eyes look bad, but it was the style like I don't know why exactly but it got done a lot so I'm gonna do it there we go I did it I didn't want to but I definitely think that it's saying something I just remember this so much like I don't know maybe it was Miley Cyrus but I just remember she always had that and I was just like I want that and then I did and I was like I don't want it because it looks good on a lot of people but on me I don't know just like but I don't know I think it looks scary the face I don't exactly know what everyone was doing to their face all I know is that their face looked flawless so I'm just gonna do everything I can to possibly make my skin look better than it usually does look. I've got a lot of redness, it's very cold. So my skin has been crying out for attention. And all I keep saying is, shh, stop it, you're making a scene. Also, I know that beauty blenders weren't a thing, but that's okay, shh, we don't need to talk about it. I actually don't think I should have put such a light concealer because I don't remember seeing like drastically different shades because like maybe like highlighting wasn't really a huge thing yet all right although it seriously pains me to not boop my nose i'm not going to i'm going to take a fan brush and i'm just going to take this pinky highlight and this champagne highlight this is this flower palette tati gave it to me and it's amazing and i'm just going to highlight like everything a little bit like not just on the cheekbone like more up all over my face. I think it just like looks more youthful and it feels like everybody in the early 2000s just looked a lot younger than they were. Wow, my skin actually looks like way healthier than it usually does. <laughs> Maybe there's something to this early 2000s look. I play with your heart. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. What's wrong with me? I'm going to take this color. Now I chose this color at home thinking it was a nude, but now I'm looking and it's not really a nude on me, it's more of a like pink. But I think more importantly than that, I got like a bunch of lip glosses because that was, that was it. Like, when did matte lipstick start? I don't know, but it definitely wasn't the early 2000s, so. Also, my mom would be very pleased because I'm not gonna overline at all. This was before big lips were like all the rage. They were still obviously really pretty and a lot of celebs had big lips, but it was before like all the injections in the lips. So I'm just gonna keep to normal. Oh my goodness, I keep deking myself. I'm like, I'm just gonna, I'm not, I'm a, I'm a, I'm All right, I'm actually liking how this is looking so far, but the matte lipstick must go. So I have this Stila Glitter Lip Top Coat. So the glitter's a little bit different than the gloss. So I'm like kind of confused on which one to do. Might start with the Fenty. This is iridescent. Every time I wear this gloss, I get a lot of people asking what it is. So it is the Fenty lip gloss in spacesuit. All right, so that is the finished makeup. Now I cannot wait to dive into this hair. Let's zoom out a little and get on to that. Okay, so for hair, I have a whole bunch of stuff. I have like headbands, these weird things that like, oh my goodness, sorry. I have so much lip gloss on. I can already see this being very problematic. So these little bouncy things, we got some clips, some of these little elastics that literally used to rip out my hair every second. So let's just brush it out. I'm kind of not sure exactly what I wanna do. I just know that I wanna have a lot going on because there was always like crimps, braids, feathers. Like, I don't know about you guys, but when I was really young, feathers were like a big thing. 
that you would go to like Ardeen's or Claire's and get like the feather ironed into your hair. I never was cool enough to get like the real feather, but I had a little clip in one. My mom wouldn't let me get a real one. Ugh, mom. Headbands were just like it, okay? Okay, this is cute, but I think it's like not leaving enough uh, real estate for other things. So headbands cute and I used to wear a headband all the time in like 2005 headbands and the headbands with the scarf and you tie it like behind your head and it'd like be right here. That was it, but okay. <laughs> I really want to dive into these. Oh my gosh, you know what I just realized? I had a, I had bought a bump it for this video and I have no idea where the bump it is. Do you guys remember bump it's? I got a little picture of this woman putting it, or I mean this little girl putting it in like an older girl's hair. So apparently it just twists around. I should be able to figure this out. Okay, so I want it to be like further back like that. Oh my gosh, I have no idea how much hair total I've lost to these little clear bands. I'm not trying to look like a kid. I'm trying to look like an early 2000s pop star. Is that 2000s of me? Kind of. <laughs> How'd I do? Okay, and now I want to take like a little thing and just do like a really thin braid here. Take another one of these. I'll regret this later. I think it's time to delve, dive into these. You just are supposed to hook it on there. Oh my goodness, okay. Trying to puff these up a little. Just back combing it into the elastic basically. Very detrimental to your hair. All right, I honestly think that's looking Pretty decent. Not trying to toot my own horn, but. So now I have these clips. I actually got these from Target while I was in Arizona. So I'm gonna take, I think the purple ones and possibly the pinks. Okay, what am I making myself? I figure out now how to do it correctly. Now, I need a few accessories. Okay, so I bought three pairs of sunglasses and I'm going to need to just try them on to see. Now these little sunglasses are definitely back in style now, but they were originally in the uh, late 90s, early 2000s from all the research I did. So I bought three pairs. So the first pair is like this. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I'm sorry. This is the freaking coolest thing ever. All right, these are very, very, very high up and running. Let's see though. I don't wanna say just yet. Okay, I don't know if these will win. They do kind of look like... Okay, these ones were actually from Amazon. Uh, I don't know if these will work. Here, look at them. They're so small. Oh my goodness, why are those kind of good too? No, I think the blue ones are definitely winners. I don't know, you guys can let me know down below if I made the wrong decision. All right, and now it's time to complete this look with an outfit. Let's roll. All right, so this look is not simply complete wearing a gray shirt, gray sweatpants, long drawns underneath because it's minus 35 degrees. No, no, no. That would never fly on the red carpet the 2000s. Yeah, absolutely not. <laughs> the inspiration is very heavily this picture of Ashley Tisdale in 2005. Of course, we have some flared jeans and a tank top. I haven't really decided which tank top yet, one of these though. And then for shoes, I got these flats just like Ashley Tisdale had on in that picture. I have this scarf because scarves were like a huge thing. This top was actually in the kids section, so hopefully it fits me. It says, be your own hero. And then of course, over top of the jeans because layering is key, we got this printed skirt. So let me get changed. Are you ready? Stunning. Nobody can tell me otherwise. All right, so here is an overview of the look in the mirror. We got ourselves a scarf, a t-shirt with an inspirational quote check, sunglasses, hair, the tank top, which by the way, 
I 1000% supported a tank top that was like 30 times longer than your t-shirt. Skirt action, but don't forget the flare jeans and just to top it all off, some sparkly flats. Honestly, I don't know why, but I am actually feeling like weirdly confident in this outfit. I don't know what it is. Like, I don't owe anybody anything in this outfit. Also, I don't know what is up with my, like, this is like one of those really, really wide angle lenses. And like, I look like such a meme. All right, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you thought it was fun and would like to see any more videos like this, make sure to click the subscribe button. I do videos like this and a lot of other things, basically just whatever I feel like doing randomly. So you can never really know what's coming next. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for the support. I love doing stuff like this. This was so much fun and I hope you enjoyed watching. Make sure to click the subscribe button and also give this video a like. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!